going, guys? Media for Negro Films here. Welcome back to another episode of NHL 17 uh, New York Rangers franchise. Today, we're going to be starting round two of the Stanley Cup playoffs. As you can see, uh, we beat the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round. I believe we only gave up one game. I might be mistaken, though. This time, we're facing the, the people Alexander Ovechkin, Nicholas Backstrom, TJ Oshie, Marcus Johansson, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and Andre Burakovsky right there. That's just so, such a good top six. They're young, too, which is hard to stop. Very solid uh, third line and a pretty good t uh, fourth line, too. So they have a lot of uh, forward depth right here. You can see Carlson and Alsner, Niskanen. I mean, they are just stacked, except maybe for that last defensive line. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're still that good. Right here, there, there is, might be a weakness. If we can get Holtby tired and out of the net, then, I mean, we might have a chance because Grubauer is only a 79 overall. Take a look at our offense right here. Uh, I'd probably give the offense to them, just because they have Alexander Ovechkin. He's probably better than my entire team combined. But, um, you can see Rick Nash, Zuccarello step on there on that first line. They've got to get going, the leaders of this team. McDonough, too. We've relied on him way too much, uh, this season. We need our offense to just, you know, get going. McDonough was, like, what, like, fourth or fifth in goals on our team. It was insane. Uh, right here, you can see Lundqvist in 82 and Antti Ranta in 82. Or 92 is uh, Lundqvist, and 82 is uh, Ranta. So anyway, right here, we're going to get into the simulations. I remember, we're going to do this up until a uh, an elimination game. So right here in the first period, and it's going to be Carlson, the defenseman. John Carlson gets the shot close on Hendrik Lundqvist. He was right near the crease. And then the Capitals take a 4 nothing lead. You got one Alexander Ovechkin, then back-to-back TJ Oshies. That is never good at all. So, I mean, they've just come out here and just destroyed us. But can we get something back? You never know. We, the Rangers could always do something right here in the middle of the third period. Run a power play, and Kevin Klein gets the goal on Braden Holpe. And now with eight minutes left, seven minutes left, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can we get a goal? No, it's it's over. Yeah, okay. So we obviously we couldn't come, really come back, you know, for nothing unless we we're the Boston Bruins against the Toronto Maple Leafs. But I mean, that was a pretty bad loss right there. Uh, Oshi with two, and you see Holpe was very good in defense or uh, in the goalie spot. So anyway, right there you see Oshi gets an early goal in the first period, and then we tie it back up by with Kevin Hayes in the second. Now here in the third period, we got 16 minutes left to go. The Rangers need just one goal to take the lead. Can anyone step up? I'm looking to my offense, not my defense. So far, uh, the only oh right there, Kevin Hayes strikes again, his second goal of the game. He is the only offenseman to score in this series so far on our team, and Backstrom gets a goal in Lundqvist to tie it up with five minutes left, one minute left, 18 seconds left, and Veni Kuznetsov scores with one second left on the clock. Oh my God, and uh, we can't give that up against the Washington Capitals. We've got to go into overtime and score a goal or something. Right there, Brayden hope he's playing out of his mind. Kuznetsov with a very clutch goal, and Hayes got two. So, I mean, Hayes is a uh, uh, third liner, right? Or is he a second liner? I forget. And right off the bat again, TJ Oshie, I think that's his fourth goal in this series. He is just scoring goals left and right. Four goals in three games. That's just insane. Third period action right here after no scoring in the second. 15 minutes left. The Rangers just need two, well, two goals to win the game. One to tie. They're halfway through. Nine minutes left. Eight minutes left. Seven minutes left. Can the New York Rangers just get one stinking goal? Three minutes left. Two minutes left. One minute left. And Backstrom puts it in with 50 seconds left on an empty netter. And that right there, we cannot... We cannot not score against the Washington Capitals. We've got to do something. You see Longquist, he had 45 saves. It was just solely on our offense. We are having so much problems right now. Uh, Kevin Hayes, again, the only offenseman to score throughout three games uh, for our team, which just sucks crap. Now this is an elimination game. We are at risk of going down 4 nothing and losing the series. Here is the face-off. You got Backstrom and Stepon, and the game has begun. Now right here, 12 minutes to go in the first period. A wide-open pass to a wide open player. That is uh, Yveni Kuznetsov, I believe it is again. He keeps scoring goals left and right for this team. We simply cannot stop them. And yes, that is Kuznetsov's second goal of uh, the playoffs. He, wow, he didn't score in the first round. That's a little bit surprising. He must have been injured or something. Right here, Josh Tor Joris takes away from the dice, and he's actually going to go ahead and beat uh, Braden Holpe on that play. Just an absolutely excellent play. 
to know where the puck is. Uh, and then they just scramble it uh, mid-ice. He just somehow comes out with the puck and puts it right past Holpe on the breakaway. That's his first goal of the playoffs. Now here, 18 minutes left to go in the second period. This is Johansson, a shot behind the net. Quick pass and a quick goal. And, uh, yeah, we simply cannot give that up. That's Jay Beagle just sitting there in the slot. And uh, someone was in Crosby's office and just put, not Crosby, oh my god, oh my god, if I ever say that again, you have a right to just end me. I meant to say Gretzky's office, what's wrong with me? Um, now literally one minute later in the game, the Capitals with another offensive drive. And right here, that is going to be Johansson with the goal on the, I, it's not really a one-timer, that was just a terrible reaction by Lundqvist. And, uh, yeah, that's Johansson's second goal of the playoffs. Uh, now, uh, in later in the second period, here is uh, Matt Zuccarello with speed around the defenseman and puts it right past Holpe. That was Kyle Alsner, I believe, or, yeah, Alsner that could not uh, catch up with Zuccarello, who just has that explosiveness that we need in this game. Finally, someone steps up for this team. And Zuccarello gets the uh, Rangers back within one. Now, later in the second period, still a lot of scoring here. This is a wide open pass to Oscar Lindbergh. And Lindbergh puts it right past Holpe. That's three big breakaways for three goals. And, man, Lindbergh is a pretty fast one as well. If only his overall could go up over the course of this season, or yeah, this last season. Um, that's his first goal of the playoffs. So a lot of these guys are making contributions tonight. Finally, our offense, our offense is getting going. Uh, this is going to be Lindbergh again taken across the blue line. He has the outside pass. It's a one-time pass. And it's going to be uh, received by Jesper Faust. And Faust puts it past Hopi for the lead with 10 minutes left to go in the game. What a clutch goal right there. And the Rangers trying to stay alive. What were they down? They were down 3-1, 3 straight. And just like that, the Rangers come away with a W, which means... We will be going to a game five. Now, this is not ideal for the Rangers as they have to win four straight. This is just one of four, but anything is possible. And they played a good game tonight. Uh, they could have easily just given up after the uh, Washington Capitals lead, but they came back and did what they had to do. Right here, you see Lindbergh, Faust, and McDonough are the three stars. Oscar Lindbergh and Jesper Faust are both on the third line as Ryan McDonough is on our first defensive pairing. Uh, we had more shots than them, more hits. They had more time on attack, better passing, and we had more penalty minutes. But the New York Rangers come out of New York with a win, and again, that is all that matters. All right, now we are going to play game number five here in Washington, D.C. And, uh, yeah, this is a big game. The Rangers need to win three straight games if they want to win the series in advance to the conference final. As you can see right here, the Rangers are 5-4, and four, while the Capitals are 7-3 and three in their playoff runs. Right here, uh, nice forechecking by the Rangers. Carlson under pressure by Zabanajad. Zabanajad's going to kick this one around to the outside, around the boards. There's going to be a pass down low for Zabanajad. He's looking for a shot. He's going to skate across the middle. Here is going to be Rick Nash. And Nash in the confusion somehow is right between the defender's skates. Nash pulls it out of there and fires a quick wrist shot getting it right by Braden Holpe who could not see past John Carlson I believe that was getting in the way and that is going to be Nash's fourth goal of the playoffs now here in the Rangers own zone it's a face off it's Orlov with a quick pass to Oshie and TJ Oshie with a big goal and uh, yeah just like that the game is tied up at one later here in the first period that is going to be Oshie's uh, what goal of the that is his eighth goal of the playoffs oh my gosh TJ Oshie is coming up huge for the Washington Capitals now right here this is going to be Derek Stepan off the right side past the blue line Zuccarello back to Stepan Stepan fires a quick shot and it bounces off of Holpe who could not control the rebound and it trickles in past them uh, for a Rangers goal and just like that it is 2-1 and a uh, nice goal bar right there by Derek Stepan. That's his first goal of the playoffs. He needs to get going. And surprisingly, that's going to be the end of this game. No scoring after this. And the Rangers come away with a big, big win to now go back to New York to possibly tie this series up. And then after that, they would be going to a Game 7. And then everything would be good right here. Hendrick Lundqvist, 25 saves. And, yeah, he just was just awesome. Uh, Derek Stepan with a goal and Oshie with a goal. So not much scoring. It was very defensive. Uh battle very slow matchup here but look at that time on the attack the capitals had the puck for way longer 
but in the end, it was the explosiveness and the clutchness by Derek Stepan to get that one past Braden Holtby. And yeah, that is going to be that. Now here in game number six, we are back here in New York. The Rangers trying to tie this series up, and it, it, it's possible. The Rangers, if they win this game, they'll go back to Washington for Game 7. But I, th th this is a must-win right now. You have to think about the present. As you can see right here, Capitals are 7-4. The Rangers are 6-4. Let's get it on right here in the first period. Face-off in the zone. That's going to be Kyle Alsner. A shot and a goal right past Hendrik Lundqvist. Uh glove side I believe that was so he just got simply beat there's no reason for that there was our defense should have been all over that but it was a face-off loss in the first place that shouldn't have happened right here this is gonna be Tom Wilson avoiding a hit flipping this one down in uh McIlrath is back to receive it try to pass it out but the it's blocked by Beagle back up to the point and an absolute missile which trickles through and someone skates in the paint and puts it right into the net I don't even know uh who shot the thing which defenseman shot it but we're going to see here in a second who's score. That's going to be Justin Williams. Um, I believe he's a fourth-line player, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, anyway, right here, 60 minutes left to go in the second quarter or period. I, <laughs> whoops, football. Anyway, right here, it's going to be Carlson point shot, and that is a goal. Another goal for their defenseman. That is going to be Kyle Alsner. Wait, is that a second goal of the night? Hold on. I, I, I forget. I honestly forget. I'm pretty sure. I know it doesn't matter. He's just been so good this playoffs. Yeah, it's a second goal tonight. It's a second goal by a defenseman, and that we simply cannot allow that. Lundqvist has got to be better than that, and our defense has got to shut down those passes. Right here, step on pass to Zuccarello. Zuccarello fires a shot way outside the dot, and somehow, someway, Zuccarello gets that one past Holpe. Holpe, I guess, thought that there was no way he could have scored off of that, but a pinpoint accurate shot right there by Zuccarello to get the Rangers uh, back within two. That's his fourth goal of the playoffs, and it couldn't be any better. Now here, nine minutes left to go in the game. Lindbergh denied a shot off the face-off. Here's Lindbergh with it again. He skates and fires a shot. It's deflected. Another shot by a Rangers player. Brooks Orpik loses it in the zone. Foss gets it. He's looking around. He's going for a pass, and it's going to be kicked out to the outside. Here's Lindbergh passing around the outside again. This is going to be Jesper Foss receiving it. He stumbles a little bit. Jesper Foss skates right across the slot and puts it right between the pipe to get the Rangers uh, with only they're only down one now with seven minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the game and possibly their season they need to get something going here that's Foss's third goal of the season now another face off in their zone the Rangers looking to do something here 22 seconds left Lars Eller with a shot and that one's going to go wide of the net which is empty here is McDonough passing it up to Miller JT Miller looking to generate something a pass out to the outside terrible decision there as the player just got checked losses it pass back to Kyle Alsner who skates around over to John Carlson up to Daniel Winnick, up to Lars Eller, down the middle of the ice. And Lars Eller, the former Montreal Canadian who haunted the Bruins, and now he's haunting me and uh, the Rangers. It's just, oh, my God. Two seconds left to go in the game, and that is going to do it. Lars Eller's first goal of the playoffs shuts out. Um, well, it doesn't shut out. It ices the game right there against the New York Rangers. And that is going to be the end of the Rangers season as this talented, high-powered offense uh, continues to just decimate. I mean, we sort of held them off there towards the end of the uh, of the series. But, I mean, there was the Kyle Osner and just a couple lucky shots and, you know, the whole Justin Williams off the rebound thing. But uh, Kyle Osner was just on fire. And right there you can see respect by Holpe and Lundqvist. And the question is, will Hunk, Lund, is this Lundqvist's last season here in New York? As you can see, Olsen with two goals, Carlson with two assists and a hit, and Foss with a goal and a hit. Those are your three stars right here. We outshot them, outhit them. Uh, we're pretty much even on the time of attack. They had better passing. Uh, we had more penalty minutes. But just like that, the New York Rangers season comes to an abrupt end off the stick of Kyle Olsner of the Washington Capitals. All right, so that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. Next episode is going to be the offseason, all the stats, who won what, the draft, re-signing, all that big stuff, all the fun stuff. Comment, rate, subscribe. Remember, eat your veggies. Go to school. Dan Carfilm's out. Peace!